If you've stepped outside of quarantine to go to the pharmacy or the supermarket, you've likely seen some pretty interesting face coverings from bandanas to medical masks and even those made at home with a little love. There is a wide variety of ways people are covering up, but there's also even more ways that people are wearing them and they're not all correct. In fact, some of you, yes, that's right, some of you are doing it all wrong. Here to set the record straight, I'm joined by Dr. Fahim Yunus, who is a clinical associate professor and chief of infectious diseases at the University of Maryland. He joins us live from Baltimore. Dr. Yunus, it's great to have you with us. Before I ask you to do a quick demo on how to wear one properly and the do's and don'ts, can you quickly just tell us why it's important right now to wear one? Thank you very much for having me. So when we cough, if I have an infection, every time I cough, I spread out about 3,000 tiny particles in the air around me. When I sneeze, I spread out 30 to 40,000 of those tiny particles. So if I'm not wearing a mask, people around me within three to six feet are vulnerable. And when I'm wearing a mask, chances are not all, but many of those particles will be blocked. So my mask helps you, your mask helps me. Okay, so that being said, do you have a mask handy right now so you can just show our viewers and of do a, a quick demo of how to how to wear one? Okay, great. And I'm going to do it with of you, course. actually. So this, so, right, so this is a face mask. You have to grab it from the side, and you have to put it on your face. Mm -hmm. So it's covering your nose. And then from here, you're going to pull it down, and you want to pinch it mm -hmm. so this part is tight at your face at the top. Okay. This is how you wear a mask. Now, once you wear it, chances are you will like to adjust it. Don't do that. If you want to adjust it, adjust it from the side, from these, but don't touch it here because that's the area that's gonna be contaminated with the virus. When you take it off, you always take it off from your ears again and put it aside. And this is the point where you don't want to now touch your face because you just touched a contaminated mask. It's best for you to go wash your hands. Okay, so this is one of my biggest questions. I, I've been putting this mask on all day and my glasses have been fogging up. So do you have any tips yes. for viewers at home? And of course now it's only minorly doing it now that we're actually on television, yeah. but I, I was in an Uber earlier and I literally had my glasses on and they were completely fogged up. How do you prevent your glasses from fogging up? Well, welcome to the life of doctors with glasses because we deal with this all the time. Here is the mask that you had. It's called an N95 respirator. So this is a different kind of mask. And you have to, again, make sure that your seal is good. This is the part. If the seal is good, chances are that air will not leak up and it will not condense in front of your glasses. So that's the main part here. If the air is leaking okay, from the Dr. top Eunice, of your mask. Okay, Dr. Eunice, my last question. Oh, oh, go ahead and finish that thought really quick. Sorry. No, that's all. I think if the air is leaking from here, it's going to condense your glasses. So this part has to be really tight. Okay, so you got to secure that to your nose. Um, last question. I was in the supermarket and... You know, I had a, a terrible, terrible itch on my face. What do you do if you have an itch and you're wearing a, a face mask and you're in an environment where you're really trying to watch out for, for possible infection? Great question. I think the global point here is there is no perfect answer to deal with this pandemic. We have a lot of gray areas, but when we deal with a gray area, we should not panic. We should remember that these are all cautionary measures. You will, uh, you will get 10 different answers to this, but my answer will be, you reach under your mask, you itch because you have to do it, but after that, just clean your hands immediately. Don't touch anywhere else on your body. That's the best you can do. Nothing is a perfect solution, but if all of us did a 70, 80% perfect solution, we will be able to win this war.